What do you think about the fact that we're selling our house? I'm uh, going to now inform Brian of what we just caught in our attic. I have a really funny idea. Let's go spy on Dad. And welcome back to another Daily Bumps video. If you guys are not subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you actually get our videos in your feed. Today is an interesting day because it is the last and final work day of getting this house done and finished. And then tomorrow, tomorrow is when they like come and take pictures. So I am getting everything together. It is definitely a chillier of a day. We've got some clouds out. I think it is actually supposed to rain today. So, you know, none of that is going to hold us back though. We're going to work hard. We're going to get this yard in order. We're going to, uh, yeah, that means you guys have to go in your poop and stop pooping everywhere. All they do is poop all over my, <laughs> my porch. But anyways, we have a busy, busy day, but I am excited. I actually first have to go get my hair done. So heading off to that now. Let's go see what the boy, the boys are, shh, I got locked out, dang it. Hello, anyone in there? I locked, I locked the door. I gotta go, gotta go around. Hey Finn, you know how we've been uh, doing a lot of cleaning and stuff around the house? Yeah. And keeping it clean. What do you think about the fact that we're selling our house? Are you excited about it? Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go next? Um, a da, um, a Marietta. Marietta? Mm -hmm. So you want to stay where we already live? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good, good, uh, Good expressing yourself. No, I don't want to heal. Oh, where do you want to go? You want to go wherever we are, huh? Because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter where we go as long as we're together, right? I like palm beans. What? I want to get palm beans. Palm Springs? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Palm Springs does sound amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. We're actually planning on visiting Palm Springs in the next day or two, so stay tuned for those vlogs. But, you know, maybe we'll check it out and see if it's a good place to live. Should we live there, bud? Yeah. I feel like it would feel like we're living on vacation 24-7, which might be, might be perfect. All right, we are officially home and we're doing uh, some family time and a little bit more cleaning. Clean house cleaners have left, so they did like all the main stuff. Brian's actually working in his office getting that clean because that was like a little more of a project than like the cleaners could really do. Not that it's dirty, it just had a lot of stuff in it that he had to figure out. But yeah, we're doing some cleaning, going through stuff. I've actually been Instagramming all day of like before and afters of my house, so that's been exciting. And it's kind of kept me motivated because people, I was like, ooh, I can do a before and after, it'll be so fun. So here we go, oh look, this is what my dad recently found in my uh, donation pile. And I must say, he is not taking it off, you know? He first was, was a joke and it's yeah. not it's not coming off. Keep my head warm. It's really warm. <laughs> I think it's funny that even when with hair you're wearing a hat. I like my hat. <laughs> I guess he's a hat guy even without even with hair. Gonna be just trying to get that hair behind his ear. I just need to give him a quick haircut. Yeah. <laughs> if he uh, started growing hair like that, you wouldn't be able to touch it. <laughs> How do you people do it? This by hats heads hard. Well, well, that's a wig. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a little hot. <laughs> I have a really funny idea. Let's go spy on Dada. Are you spying on me? what you spy on, you might find something you don't want to see. <laughs> okay, we just caught something in our attic. I don't know if it's him or not. That's a big cat. That is not Winston. That's not Winston? That is a different cat. Okay, that's what was living in the attic and peeing up there. Oh my gosh, where did you come from? Did Winston invite you okay, over? He's not very friendly. Yeah, so he's, he's probably friendly. feral. Well, yeah, and he smells, oh, poor guy. Yeah, Winston has white on him. Okay, I was like, that's Winston. And I'm like, wait, I don't know. 
It's okay. Oh, baby. I wonder he's how long really he's been scared. in there. I knew we were hearing sounds in our attic. I know. I thought it was Winston. <laughs> I kind of wonder if he is a friendly cat. He's just scared right now. Maybe, Maybe he is someone's cat. That is a big black cat. Yeah. How many are up there with you? If it's there, pregnant, I get to keep the babies. Is there a whole pot of you? If he, if she if he is a she then um and he's pregnant <laughs> if she's pregnant I get the babies. I'm uh, going to now inform Brian of what we just caught in our attic. So we've been hearing things in our attic. Yeah. We knew it wasn't Winston. Are you pranking me right now? No, we knew it wasn't Winston because I made sure that Winston was out when I closed it. My dad put a trap in there and check out what we ended up catching. What could you have caught? Another cat? Yeah. Wait, is that not Winston? That's not Winston. <laughs> so we had, we've had two cats. Yeah, we didn't know we were feeding two. It's probably like when I saw him, I'm like, ah! I'm really scared right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> think? The, dog, the dogs aren't helping. The cat's scared? Are the cats scared? <laughs> Come on, doggy. Oh is, yeah, he doesn't like the dogs. Man? Poor guy. That is crazy. We had a stray cat living in our attic. A huge fat one. Look at this thing. This thing's big. Like, like Winston literally invited him up there. This is a big cat. You look like a cute, cuddly cat, though. <laughs> you know, we could be no, he's probably so scared. What do we do with them? All right, we have gone all around the neighborhood, and I even put up like on our Facebook post that's in our neighborhood or our Facebook like group about the cat. So I'm hoping someone will respond and say it's their cat. He seems like so healthy that he has to be owned by someone, but he doesn't seem very friendly, but he could just be scared, so. Hopefully we find the owner ASAP. Otherwise, I don't know if I can keep him for very long because he's not friendly enough to even like feed at this point, right? No, he's not very friendly, and if we open that cage, he's gonna bolt, bolt, yeah. Oh, there you guys all. I found you guys. I wonder what Mama's doing today. Mama's right over there. I don't know why I'm spying on you, but that's what I'm thinking about right now. All right, let me see that camera. How do you even keep fighting this thing? I keep setting it down and you keep stealing it. Watering all of our new plants. I want to water the snapdragons. Okay, once it's a little bit lighter, it's pretty heavy right now. We've got carrots and broccoli. Hey, Finn, let's go spy on Mama and Dada. Come on. Steve, what do you think of the new office? Rearranged it, definitely added a whole lot more room. Check it out, you guys. It is looking good, you guys. It's been a crazy day because we've been getting the house all ready for showings and for pictures, getting ready to sell it, and it's kind of like bittersweet. But um, at the same time, you know, this house did a lot for us as a family. We have so many amazing memories in this house and uh, another family's gonna come in and make the same kind of memories. And I know there's gonna be something special waiting for us after we leave this place, so. It's kind of just what life is all about, changing and growing and yeah, so office is clean. Let's go check on the boys. Oh, by the way, look at this. <laughs> I put a Kylo Ren's head in the BB-8. Ollie's room is looking good. Looks like there's a fire underneath his bed, but it's just the lamp. <laughs> I like the table under there. Finn? Nope, but his room is looking good too. We uh, put this tapestry up on the wall so that uh, it would hide all the marks. Looking good. I seriously love his bed. It's so, it's so cool. So we're definitely gonna be taking his bed um, to the new house. He'll just get his own room, another new room. What are they watching? Hi, Luna. <laughs> what are you guys watching? Oh, is he asleep? Uh, how long has Finn been asleep? <laughs> I did not see that. You didn't see that he was asleep? <laughs> he fell asleep. 
Watching Brave Little Toaster. Um, I came out here because it's dinner time and I was gonna make you guys dinner. He's like not even supposed to be sleeping yet. <laughs> Silly kid. Hey Finn. Hey Finny. Hey Finn. Hey Finster. Hey, there you are. What, are you just taking a little pre-nap? Oh, it's okay. Hey, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> are you tired? You gotta eat dinner first before you go to sleep, huh? Do you wanna go get some dinner? You want me to make you some dinner? Okay, so before I end the video, I wanted to give a quick update on the cat. So, it's such a bummer because we could not get our hand in that cage at all for food, water, or even to like move it to like a safer cage that's not so scary with like, you know, a place to potty and all that. So I'm super bummed. We had to take him down to the little night drop. I did put his his um, missing ad all over the town or all over our neighborhood and on Facebook. And I actually got someone who thinks that it might be their cat. By the time they told me I'd already dropped him off at the, at the little night, night drop area where he didn't seem as scary when I dropped him off, but I am so interested to find out if it is her cat. She said she lost her cat a year ago though, um, and it was a girl, and she the cat was a little bit feral, but loved her son. And she's like, oh my gosh, do you think it's him? Like, or do you think it's her? And I hope so badly that it really is her cat, but we won't know until she gets down to the pound and actually can see. But so far, I know that the cat will be okay. I actually know this place personally, and I've like talked to them. They're really, really sweet shelter for cats and dogs and all kinds of animals. So I know it'll be okay. And I'm just hoping someone claims this cat because I feel so, so bad. I actually feel bad for Winston because I feel like Winston had a friend and now he doesn't. I hope the cat is okay and will find its owner. But there was just no way for me to keep him without food, without being able to just give it like food or water without it like attacking me. <laughs> so it's definitely a bummer. But anyways, I'm gonna end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, boo!